Hello, YouTube! Are you tired of replacing the batteries in your garage door remote? Or worse, that moment when you find out they need to be replaced because the door won't open? Are you tired of climbing a ladder and pushing a button to program the built-in opener button every time you get a new vehicle? Or what about when a friend drives and it's raining when they drop you off and you have to stand there in the rain punching the code into the little panel all the while getting wet? In this 5 Minute Friday episode, we're going to fix all those problems. Hi, welcome to the channel. My name's Jeff. I cover all sorts of smart home stuff here. I'm just your average professional IT nerd. With over 25 years in the industry, I've learned a bit along the way about programming, networking, and all sorts of other crazy stuff that most people don't find that interesting. My goal with this channel is to take that knowledge and apply it to smart home tech to make the complicated stuff less complicated so that everyone can have a smart house the easy way. I invite you to come with me on my journey to discover all the crazy stuff along the way as I make the dumb stuff smart and the smart stuff easy. The rye I've chosen for this 5 Minute Friday video is Jefferson's Ocean Voyage 26. Coming in at a relatively tame 96 proof and a rather approachable price in the upper 70s with very wide availability, it really is a fantastic port. Let's throw five minutes on the clock and get to it. To automate our garage door, we're gonna make use of zones in Home Assistant. The most important zone to define is your home zone. If you haven't done that yet, click settings on the left, then system, then general, then next to edit location, click edit. This will take you to the zones page. Drag your home zone around until it is centered on your house. Now that Home Assistant knows where your house is, you can use that to take actions based on whether you're at home or away. This is done using the companion app on your mobile device, which requires being able to communicate with your Home Assistant server from the internet. I've already done a couple different videos on how to put Home Assistant on the internet, so I'll leave links to those in the description in case you guys need to set that up. You'll also need to have your garage door opener connected to Home Assistant. Since I have a LiftMaster garage door opener, I use the MyQ HomeKit bridge. It also works with Chamberlain openers, and I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. So here's the automation. It's pretty simple. The device is my phone and the trigger is enters the zone and the zone is the home zone. Then the conditions are, is the garage door closed and is leaving neighborhood on? If both of those are true, open the garage door. So what is leaving neighborhood? Well, since the home zone encompasses a bit of the neighborhood, as well as a couple of the neighbor's houses. Sometimes when we would visit the neighbors, my garage door would go up and down because we were right on the border of being home or not home. So I added a button to my dashboard called leaving neighborhood. If we're just going to see the neighbors or going for a walk around the block or whatever, then we turn that off. We aren't leaving the neighborhood. Then the garage door stops going up and down because home assistant can't figure out if we're home or away. Just create a toggle under helpers. I called it leaving neighborhood. Then I just threw a mushroom template card on the dashboard and the action was toggle. If it's on the default state, then the button is green. If it's off, the button turns red. Works great. I also use this to control my firewall port forwarding, but that's a different video. The other thing I did was wrote an automation to check the garage door when one of us leaves the house. If we forgot to close it, then when we leave the home zone, Home Assistant will close the garage door for us. Hopefully I managed to keep that under five minutes. I guess we'll find out during editing. I really do hope that you enjoyed today's video. If so, please go ahead and smack that like button for me to tell YouTube that this video didn't suck and that it should be shown to more people. If you'd like to help support the channel as well as receive exclusive benefits such as periodic copies of my automations, dashboard, and configuration YAML files, early access to ad-free videos, access to the FHT Discord channel, free t-shirts, exclusive giveaways, and more, please, I invite you to become a patron over on patreon.com. All the code for today's video is also posted there, so you can just go and download it and copy-paste instead of having to pause the video and type it in for yourself. I'd like to take just a moment and send a special thank you to my current patrons. You guys rock! If you would like to join them, I'll leave a link in the description. Thank you for your support. I hope you found today's video informative and entertaining, and I hope that I was able to teach you something. I hope that if you pick up this rye, that you like it as well. It really is a good one. I hope you like today's t-shirt, link to that in the description as well. And I look forward to seeing all your smiling faces in the next video. 
Thanks for watching, and until next time, go automate something, will ya?